Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to use the fill command. Let's take a quick look at it. Here it is. Remember, all lowercase and one space only. Type forward slash to open up the commands. And then forward slash fill, leave a space. You will already have the tildes to mark out where the X, Y, Z coordinates will go. Then you can choose from the list of fill blocks and in this case we are going to replace and then hit return. Forward slash fill space X coordinate space Y coordinate space Z coordinate space X coordinate space, Y coordinate space, Z coordinate space, Minecraft colon block name space replace and then hit return. Remember every single space is imperative and it all has to be in lowercase. Let's get going. This is our pavilion and our village or town lake. I've put it in the centre of the town so that all the houses have access to it. So we start off by marking out the two blocks in the opposite corners to where we want to build our lake. Now I've gone down three blocks here and I've taken the coordinates now I'm going to head across to this corner and take the coordinates of this block. So what you want to do is make sure you're standing smack bang in the centre of the block and look down towards it. Get your crosshair in the centre and look at it and then we press F3 up comes the coordinates. A third of the way down on the left hand side of the screen you'll see X, Y, Z then three blocks of numbers. Write these numbers down. Don't forget some numbers have a minus value. We only want the whole number. So we want 322, 0 and minus 58. Now I have the coordinates for the other corner. So let me show you what the Y coordinate is. We want a sand block at Y minus three and we want water and the two blocks above. So let's go. Forward slash, fill, all in lowercase. We type in our first coordinate at minus three because that's where we want our sand layer. Then our second coordinates again at minus three because we only want one layer of sand. Then we'll choose our sand. I'll type in Minecraft colon S and then choose sand from the list. Then in the list we have many options but what we want is replace because we want the blocks that are already there replaced with the block that we're putting in. And hit return. And it says we've successfully filled 741 blocks. We need to have a little bit of faith and believe that the blocks of sand are actually there under the ground. Now for the water. 
So again, we need to hit So forward slash fill, type in the coordinates. We want to start at minus two. And we want to finish at zero. Minecraft water. And we want to replace. Oh dear. Zero would appear to be the block above minus one, which makes sense because minus two plus minus one is two blocks of water. So not to worry, let's redo it. So fill, we'll type in our coordinates and we want to fill the zero layer with air so that we lose the water on the surface. And when we put in our second coordinates, as with the sand, we'll use the same Y coordinate, zero. And then Minecraft Air, replace. Problem solved. There we go. Now, I'm going to um, reshape my pond because it looks more like a swimming pool rather than a pond. I'm going to fill in the corners with a little bit of sand and make the sides a little bit more interesting. So you can do the same with yours. I just put like little beaches in the corner. and disturb the long sides a little so they're not quite so straight. So that it looks more natural. On this side here, I'm going to put the um, the swimming area in. I'm going to raise it one block, so it's slightly elevated compared to the rest of the the pond. Now I'm going to put in two small islands for our mangrove trees and build some mangrove trees. I won't just place a mangrove tree and then grow it. I'll actually build my mangrove tree. So I'll start by putting some um, mud down, mangrove mud. And I'll use all different types of mangrove wood. So this is the actual trunk of a mangrove. And then I'll use um, mangrove gates and uh, mangrove fence posts to create like the branches. And then you can make them in any shape you want. You can make it a lot more interesting. And the mangrove leaves. And I'll use some of the brown ones around the bottom of the trunk. So it looks more natural because that's where they'd be. They wouldn't actually be up in the trunk. There we go. You can also use other leaves. You don't have to purely use mangrove leaves. Sometimes it's nice to put some maybe um, jungle leaves in there or oak leaves just to make it look a little bit more exciting. Almost done on this one.
And now for the mangrove bush. And we'll use exactly the same technique. This one will be a little bit smaller. So I'll use some gates and open them to make them look like tweaks. They almost look a bit like weeping willows. This is where the ducks would hang out if we had ducks. Now for the actual pavilion itself. I'm going to stand the pavilion on mangrove pillars. So I'm going to put the mangrove pillars where they'd fit in nicely within my pond. So you just want some uniform mangrove pillars all in a row. Come one block above the top of the water and I'm going to put like a little deck on the actual end so that it's not just one oblong. It's a little bit more shaped. I'll use the half slabs to put the floor in so it's floating above the water and I'm going to come back onto the grassland just a little bit. Now this is the little bit here that will stick out, a little bit of a sun deck. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put trapdoors all the way around the pillars in the corners just to cover them up a little bit and make them look a little bit more interesting. It makes it look as if it's been decorated. And then I'm going to use the same trapdoors All the way around the edges to create a barrier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the um, trapdoors on the actual outside of the platform where I can so that, that they don't block any of the flooring area for when I put the furniture in. The rabbit's making a bit of noise now. That was the poppy dog. Sounds like a villager. I think she's been watching too much Minecraft. Um, so I'm going to carry on doing this all the way around. I'll be sure to leave um, an area at the end there by the grass so that I can put some steps up onto the platform. I think there's only one place where I have to venture actually onto the platform with the trapdoors and that's here in this little recessed corner. And the good thing about putting the trapdoors on the outside like this is that you don't actually um, end up with a corner which is open. Like I would have here if I hadn't have gone onto the actual platform. There we go. And I'm going to change up now and use some nether brick steps. And either side of the steps I'm going to put in a, a little nib of 
nether brick walling to stop people falling off the steps when they're going up and down. And then behind that, on the platform, I'm going to finish off the trapdoor fencing. And then put some pathway in. And now I'm going to build the pillars that were going to support the roof. I'm going to put the pillars on every wooden block. I'm going to leave the very front of the platform open to the sun. And then I'm going to put an upside down step around every pillar so that we've got sort of a cross. That will create a nice pattern on the inside when you look up at the roof. Or the ceiling rather. And then I'm going to put a row of steps all the way around the edge, but I'm going to make sure to come back on the corner here to highlight the sun deck on the platform. And now I'm going to put some beams across and I'm going to use fence posts to do this. It's not absolutely necessary, but when you walk in the pavilion and look up at the ceiling, it's going to create a really nice effect. So I'll put three lengthways on one across the center. And now for my second row of steps, What I'll do is I'll do two rows of steps and then I'll use the slabs to fill it in at the top but I'll leave a space of four blocks in the centre and then I'll come up again uh, with a fence post in each corner and then I'll put slabs on top of that and then in the centre of that I'll put a few slabs as well so it looks as if it's um, it's got sort of a vent in the roof. It creates anything you can do, any little thing that you can do to create texture and interest in your build. Otherwise you get big areas of of the same thing. That's when it looks a bit meh. So you see I've left a little gap in the center because it's a large roof. I wanted to do something interesting in the middle. There we go, and then the force blocks in the middle, I've put an extra block. See, it makes it more interesting, a little bit more exciting. And then on the inside, when you, when you pop up the steps, You'll see the roof, the ceiling rather. It'll be interesting the ceiling. It, it looks so much nicer, especially against the dark nether brick. And we'll pop some lights around, put them on the ledges created by our upside down steps. That's quite nice. It's a nice colour. I like the colour of the mangrove wood. And you can see through the vent in the roof. Now I'll show you how I made the sofas. I used mud bricks or mud slabs with trapdoors behind them. On the ends of some of the sofas I used um, signposts to create armrests. And then I just went round and I popped a table in the middle of one so you've got a picnic area 
and then I just put on um, sofas around everywhere now I'm going to build the beach for the swimming area and we'll fence this in now on this side because I've used fencing on the inside of the water on top of the slab along the front I have to put the fencing in on the outside or we'd have a gap in the corner there we go and then we'll put some little benches in with the with the slabs the mud slabs for all the mummies and daddies and grannies and grandpas and we'll pop some gates in to stop the children escaping there we go and the only thing we need to do now is pop down into the water and maybe put some steps in because otherwise the little children wouldn't be able to get out Yeah, I think that's perfect. Yeah, that works. A couple of frogs, maybe one or two. Just because they're so cute. And now we're going to use some um, bone meal, the magical bone meal. decorate the inside of the pond and now what I'm going to do here and on most of the corners is I'm going to put in some bamboo but obviously bamboo grows very very tall and I don't want it to to grow up to the sky so I'm going to use the bone meal to push the bamboo to make it start growing and then I'm going to use string on top of the bamboo to stop it from growing now you can do this with most things if you put a piece of string above it it can't grow anymore it's blocked and you can't see the string because it's so fine then I can create a corner of bamboo that looks quite natural Okay, that's quite a nice effect now I've decorated everywhere I've done all the landscaping so let's go and visit it's exciting oh there's a frog so here we go there's our lovely ceiling and our armchairs and sofas and picnic area this is our sun sun deck there's plenty of room for most people in the town and now you can see the bamboo on the corners as the frog I am to use the bone meal to push the grass and the flowers around the edges of the lake our swimming enclosure the beach and our mangrove trees I can imagine walking the dogs around here hello froggy hello our bamboo with a little bit of sugar cane Some more bamboo either side of the actual pavilion itself it looks really nice against the the red of the mangrove wood
So there we have it. Thank you for watching. It's been lovely having you. Do come back again soon. And if you, if you could, please do like and subscribe. It would be lovely. Take care. Bye-bye.